Hi everyone, it's Yanis here and in this video we will explore what is echo chamber effect and why it's important. I'll be also sharing some examples of echo chamber effect so it's easier to understand what it is and what role it plays in our life. If this is your first time on this channel, then make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon to get updates on my latest videos about time management and productivity. Echo chamber effect is when you create an environment in which beliefs are amplified and reinforced by communication and repetition inside the closed system. This can be online or in-person setting and each community can create echo chamber if no information from outside is accepted. Basically, echo chamber is an environment that circulates the same information and refuses to accept new information. I was stuck in echo chamber by myself when I was developing my mobile application. Me and my team tested and developed it as we thought would be the best. But when the application was launched, we quickly realized that users didn't use it in the way we intended and that resulted in poor user retention. We were stuck in echo chamber and we didn't realize that we were doing it wrong. We should have been inviting users to participate in development process instead of keeping it secret. So whatever you're working towards, be sure that you're not stuck in echo chamber and be open to an outside perspective even if it's against your current beliefs. Matthew Said speaks quite a lot about echo chamber effect and the power of diverse thinking in his book called Rebel Ideas. I have done a book summary for this book and I'll link it in the description below if you want to learn more. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I was able to give you a quick overview about what echo chamber effect is and what role it plays in our life. If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate if you could press that like button. This will help the video reach more people and also help the channel grow.